Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an introduction of my project pan for 2020. So this is going to be a rolling project pan. I did actually film this um, about two months ago, but I didn't really like the products that I mentioned in there. So I changed them up a little bit. Um, I was going to do 20 in 2020, but it's a bit overwhelming. So I thought, because this is my first project pan and introduction, I think I'm going to be realistic so that I can also try and use up as much products as possible and roll them out and roll new things in etc. So um, I've put these into categories, I've put um, liquids, creams and um, powders. So I'm going to start with the uh, liquids. So first thing I'm going to introduce to the project pan is my primer. So this is a primer that I've had for a little while now, maybe going on to maybe three years, like I just literally found this. And this is the um, the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pri Makeup Primer. Um, and I recently picked this up and started using it and I actually really like it. It's like a thick cream um, and it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't really make my makeup last long. It just is kind of acts as a barrier. Um, I actually quite like it um, and I want to use it up just because it's the oldest um, primer I probably own. So yeah, use up by 2020. Next is a foundation. Now the foundation um, that I'm choosing to include in this project pan is the NYX HD uh, Studio Foundation. This is quite old, again, pushing on probably two years. Um, I actually really like this. Um, it looks really nice on the skin, but I've got so many foundations and I just wanna kind of use this up and um, use up what I have as well. So. This is in the color soft mocha for anyone who cares. So use up by 2020. I've probably got about um, maybe maybe that much left. So I'll probably, um, I reckon I'll use this up by maybe like end of summer. Um, Cause again, I don't use this every day. And um, yeah, sometimes I mix it, um, but the finish isn't always my favorite, but it feels nice on the skin. It's quite lightweight and it looks good. So yeah, use this up. Um, just on my primer, I've probably, I've probably only used up, you know, about this much because again, I found this. So I'm about here, I would say. Um, next product is a concealer. Now this concealer, when I bought it, I absolutely loved it. It's the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Um, by the way, guys, I'm, I get into the habit of keeping things in boxes because I hate dirty makeup. Um, so yeah, this is the Cover FX Power Play uh, Concealer. I'm the shade uh, Golden Deep 2. Um, this is nice, but I don't know, it's the packaging, I just don't like it. I like the doe foot, look. I like the um, doe foot and I think it's nice and big and it gets under there, but I don't know, it's just so messy. And yeah, it just annoys me when I, when I use it. It's super creamy, it doesn't crease. It's beautiful but it's not that full coverage um and i actually really like a, a a concealer that's got full coverage so um but yeah I, I do like this again i've had it for maybe a year and a little bit um i do not stick to the rules when it comes to uh keeping makeup for a certain amount of time because i've got so much so gonna probably mm, i've probably got about 80 percent left in this I am going to try and use this up by the end of the year. I've got so many concealers, like more than foundations and palettes, like concealers are my thing. So, but I'm gonna try and use this up by the end of the year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Next product is another concealer, but I don't use it as a concealer because it's so um, light. And this is the um, Rimmel, is it Rimmel London? Make sure, no, it's sorry, it's the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. It's the Instant Age, uh, eye eraser and this is in the shade nude obviously it's not my shade it's way lighter than me but what I usually do is um, conceal with my regular concealer and then use it to highlight but I don't know I just haven't been reaching for this because I find that when I do concealer I just brighten up with a brightening powder rather than another concealer so I actually really like this concealer it's amazing it lasts so long it doesn't crease it's lightweight and it's full coverage um, but again, I just don't find myself reaching for this. I've only got a tiny bit left. Luckily, you can actually see the progress of this. So, um, that used up about 80%, I would say, um, and got that this much left. So, which is good. And um, I'll probably use this as an eye base. It's really good for like a, a like priming your eyelids, because um, again, it doesn't crease, it's lightweight, and um, it, it's a lighter color, so it'll make my eyeshadows 
pop. So want to use this up by the end of the year. Next product is a liquid eyeliner. Now, I've got a love-hate relationship with this. This is the Tanya Burr eyeliner. Um, Tanya Burr is a YouTuber that used to be really into makeup and beauty, um, but she's now gone into acting and um, she used to have a line, uh, a makeup line in Superdrug, which I actually really liked. I've got another product by her, I believe. Yeah, I've got another product by her. Um, but yeah, but this is nice. It's just too liquidy it's nice but I don't know it's just too liquidy I like something that's a little bit more matte like it dries down a little bit wet and I don't know I like it for its precision but if you've got watery eyes it's the worst so anytime that I've got um anytime that I find myself like with watery eyes um this is not the one to use um but yeah I just want to get out of my collection because again I've had this for a long time um, so want to use this up by the end of the year. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm not sure if I can because um, I feel like there's a lot left. I it's hard to track the progress. I'm probably going to try and weigh this and, and um, you know, put, put things on my uh, pan Instagram. If you don't know my pan Instagram, my pan Instagram is called Lover of Makeup Pan. Um, and that basically shows all my progress on things. I'm now going to move on to my cream products. First cream product I've got is this. It's a um, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick, and it just looks like this. This is the progress. I've actually used this up quite a bit. It's probably about twenty percent left. Uh, this is in the shade Truffle Two Three Two. I don't know if they do this anymore. I didn't see that um, it in Boots, um, but I also use it as a contour. It's quite a nice color. I love the shade. It's like perfect. It's like quite neutral which I love in a contour I do use this but it's just quicker for me to contour with a powder most of the time so but yeah we'll use this up at by the end of the year um next product I actually absolutely love but I don't get enough use out of it because I've got, again I've got so much highlighters and this is the Colourpop um Super Shock Cheek um highlighter in the colour Wisp now I got this from America um and it's absolutely gorgeous like Sorry about that, that's the eyeliner. Um, look at this, it's beautiful, I love it. I've got it on today. Um, the only reason I don't really use this, again, is because I've got so many highlighters, um, too much choice, <laughs> that's that's my problem. So um, yeah, I definitely wanna use this up. Um, actually, no, I don't wanna use it up, I want to hit pan, I wanna hit pan in it. And I thought initially when I got this, I'm like, there's no way I'm hitting pan in it. Other people's pans on Colourpop highlighters apparently the pan is quite shallow so it might be quite easy to hit pan in this I'll see how I go but yeah I want to hit pan in this not necessarily use it up and um, if I do great but um, I've got so many highlighters so I don't know if it'll be realistic so I want to hit pan on this um, next product is oh my gosh it's so old I'm pretty sure this is maybe like three years old um maybe more actually this is the Kiko uh, Milano metallic shine eyeshadow in the colour 02 and it's basically this pearly lavender shade. And I was like really into lavender shades when I was I was a little bit younger. And yeah, this was the one for me. I had to give it a swatch. So beautiful and just look really nice, especially in the summer. I will use it in the inner corner, sometimes all over my lips. Sometimes like at the bottom of my um my eye, like like here. Oh god, I've just messed up my look good. Yeah, I've got a lot of work to do on this, as you can see. Um, I want to hit pan in it, but uh, it might be a long shot because uh, I don't use this shade anymore every day. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Next, we're going to swiftly move into powder products. So the first powder product is the Makeup Obsession. Um, it's actually an eyeshadow, but I uh, use it both as an eyeshadow and as a blush. It's absolutely beautiful. It looks like that. This says obsess and obviously some of it's uh, rubbed off so I've made some progress in it which is good. Um, I do want to hit pan by the end of the year. Um, again I don't really use blush every single day so um, it might be difficult but I can kind of see the ring. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I'm being delusional but I can kind of see a ring. So we'll see how I get on but yeah. 
I want to hit pan in this, not necessarily use it up because again, I don't use blusher every day, but um, yeah, definitely hit pan by the end of the year. Next product is contour. Now I actually really like this contour, but it's broken. And a lot of my products, to be honest, when I, when they break, I just put them in my stash and I'm like, I'm not going to use that. I'm good, just going to either buy something else or I'm just going to use uh, another product. So this is the Topshop um, contour powder in the shade Cemetery, and it's the perfect cool tone contour. Like it just matches my skin or it just suits me so, so well. And it's not too dark. That's the thing. I, I, I have problems with finding um, contour shades that are um, like right for my skin tone, like cool enough, but not too grey, but also not too red because I hate red contours or red bronzes. It's just like, it just looks red on me. I just don't like it. So yeah, this is amazing. Um, I've got a little dip in there. I don't know if you can see, but... Um, want to hit pan on this by the end of the year. Next product is a bronzer. Now this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Look at that progress. Like this is one of my favorite bronzers hands down. This is in the shade Endless Summer. Um, and it's just so lightweight and buttery and, and just amazing. Like I love the formula. Um, again, I got this from um, America, but I'm pretty sure they do it here now in boots. I may not be able to get your shade because they're not very inclusive yet. Um, so they just bought it over, I think. Um, but yeah, this is hands down my favourite bronzer. I'll definitely repurchase this, to be honest, even though I want to try my other bronzers in my collection. Um, but it's just so lightweight on the skin. It doesn't look like too much. Again, I'm wearing it today and it helps me blend out my contour as well, which I love. So, and. I can't forget the smell, the smell's amazing. So um, I actually really don't want to, but I wanna use this up by the end. Well, the aim is to use this up by the end of the year, but I don't want it to finish, that's the reality of it. Next product is a face powder. Now this is the Fit Me um, powder by Maybelline in the shade Coconut. Um, this is super old, um, you know it because it's the old packaging. Um, I don't know if you know the new packaging, it's got like a, a blue sign here saying Fit Me by Maybelline and it just like, looks like this. Um, I've had this going on three years now. Um, I'm not too concerned with powder products to be honest, I'm more concerned with cream or liquids. I've got quite a good amount of pan. I feel, I feel like it's going to crack soon so uh, and I, I'm not that great at repressing powders so I really hope it doesn't crack. <laughs> but yeah, want to use this up by the end of the year. Um, and next is another face powder, but it's a more um, sheer tone face powder. It's the uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. Um, and it just looks like this. I've got Waffle Pan already, guys. Look at that. Really happy with the progress on this. And to be honest, I don't really use this as a face powder um, for every day. I maybe use it as a finishing powder or dust off powder or even to blend out, um, blend out my eyebrow um, concealer. Um, and I've been doing really well on this. No doubt I'll hit, you know, finish this by the end of the year. Probably won't repurchase just because um, I don't really wear face powders like that. Like, I'm not really a face powder kind of gal uh, because I just feel like my loose powder will set the, my face and then that's it. I don't really want any more coverage. Um, but this is a nice powder. I did enjoy this. Um, but yeah, I want to finish this by the end of the year. Now, moving on to palettes. This is the last category that I've got. Um, now I've had this for five years. No, I'll probably say four years. I want to, yeah, I, I'm not that bad. This is a four year palette. And, um, this is by Inglot and it's their freedom system where you can basically choose, um, which shadows you want to put in a, either a quad or, or bigger palette. So I just chose a quad because I wanted to just try out their formula. And I actually really like their shadows. Um, they are a little bit dry. Um, I quite like a creamy formula um, when it comes to shadows, but they're nice. They, they are nice. Um, they don't really get that much recognition in the makeup um, makeup scene um, they're kind of um, in the background but they are good um, as you can see my selection is quite boring and um, quite neutral but I just felt like there's no point choosing like shadows that I'm never going to use so these are my everyday shadows I want to hit pan it in this caramel shade um, this one I actually use as like a topper for my lips to give it a little bit more of um, coverage 
I was going to use this as a con. Well, I tried to use this as a contour, but it was just too dark, and I yeah, it didn't look right. It looked a bit like dirty. Um, and sometimes I use it on my eyes to deepen up, but um, most of the time I use this caramel shade. So my aim is to hit pan in this caramel shade. Um, again, I've got so many eyeshadow palettes, so I'm not gonna try and say I want to finish it because. I've got eyeshadow palettes that I prefer over this one, um, so I just want to get more use out of it in general. But in particular, my aim is to um, hit pan in the caramel shade. In terms of the progress on this so far, there is a dip. I don't know if you can see that. It's a slight dip. So I might see pan very, very soon. Um, but yeah, I, I don't even use this one. I don't know why I chose it. <laughs> the other palette, I've had this for maybe six years. And this is the Motives, um, the Element Colour Box, no, with Love Element Colour Box Motives palette by Mavines, Mavines, I don't know, it's rubbed off, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, this was actually um, something that I purchased from a Motives representative. Um, and it was when I kind of really got into makeup and palettes and wanted to play around. And so this was, this has got some sentimental value to me, like, but again, it's it's broken at the hinges, which it, it annoys me a bit um, when it comes to reaching for this, but already hit pan in this caramel shade because it's a boring, you know, transition shade. I'm gonna use this every day, so it's fine. Um, but these other shades are absolutely gorgeous, especially this one. This one's cracked a little bit because um, it is quite a soft formula, but it's like a um, like metallic soft shade with like it's almost like a pink cool tone undertone to it it's really pretty i want to finish this actually um but again the only reason i don't reach for this is because the um it's broken at the hinges i don't know if you can see that but yeah it's broken and i hate reaching for broken palettes it's just annoying because i feel like i just need to be a bit delicate with them um this black shade i want to hit pan in i use that for my um eyeliner i use it today um and that's about it really so um this shade again it, oh this shade is beautiful this is a brown with gold flex in it but i don't know i don't know when i'm gonna be wearing that if i want to wear like a smoky a brown smoky eye with some glitter flex i guess i could use that but i'm super boring when it comes to eyeshadow on a daily basis but um oh again this one's quite nice as well this is like a pearlescent shade i've got this in my inner corner today so it looks like but yeah so my aim is to try and hit pan on this might be might be an ambitious one for this one um and hopefully it doesn't crumble um because as you can see it's crumbled at the edges there but um i want to hit pan in this i want to finish this and i want to hit pan in this so that's three pans um, which is super ambitious for me because again I don't reach for this as much and I've got so many other shades and I, on an everyday basis I don't wear like too much eyeshadow anyway I'll probably wear something one one transition shade in the crease or even just my bronzer if I can be bothered and then that's it that's all the products in my project pan ew my fingers look grimy um that's all the products in my project pan guys um I will be updating you as and when I can I'm not going to promise anything um, because I want this to be quite fun still, because if I put too much pressure on myself with this project plan, especially because it's my first one introducing to you, um, I'm, I'm just not going to make that much progress and it's not going to be fun for me. So I'm going to update you as and when, if you don't get any updates on here, I will be updating, um, you guys via my, uh, Instagram. So follow that if you want any specific updates on these projects on these products or other products that I've been making progress on. Make sure you follow my Instagram page where you'll find project pan updates and progress shots of all of these products and, and more that I've got in my collection. So my Instagram page will be in the description below or um, it'll be Lover and Makeup Pan maybe in this section here. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.